so hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to use lane distortion node using lane screen so let's start our video and before starting this video as i said to everyone jai siaram jai mere baba watching buddy so first of all i have this footage and i have this lane script so let me tell you first this is not appropriate for this shot actually i have taken a third party lane script so i downloaded from internet so this is another shot okay so in production house actually they uses the short lane script only okay so let me show you the process so let's type here lane distortion okay just connect this source to this lane script okay and after this just came here in the advanced option okay don't give me the advanced option let's go to the analyze option now here you can see a grid detect setting and editing and drawing right now let me show you one thing now i have this lane script now what i'll do first of all you guys can preview it here okay after previewing just on the setting option now see i am getting this preview right it's got a blue color right so i can increase this number of features as you wish because it's depend on you can increase it also decrease it also it's not mandatory to increase only okay same goes to all these settings just increase and decrease all the setting try to play with this all the setting okay by decreasing and increasing the value after this what i will do keep this current frame after this i will put detect now it will detect i mean it will analyze but what i have to do after analyzing this i have to solve this so come here and solve this okay now see it's green right and it's calculating our lane distortion now what will happen let's check here now just now disconnect this node and okay another thing don't just connect here again just connect this here in the footage and after this the view the footage okay now let me keep this one and after this see if i just on this footage see something is coming right see so basically some bounding box is coming right so in this case what is actually what happened so right click show over scan and see i'm getting some over scan issue right see i'm getting some over scan actually not getting a over scan basically it's taking it basically what it does is stretching my footage i mean it's trading my footage right see so i'm getting a over scan right but in this case let me check out process okay process setting is good so it's getting a not getting an extra pixel basically what is my footage actually is, is bending i mean it was distorted now it was undistorted right it is undistorted see it's getting straight line right see but i think it will stretch yes it is stretching right see some stretchy pixel is there so for now what guys can you do you just connect a crop and just reformat it right see got it now if i just on and off after off the show was can just off this and now if i see now see okay now i am offing this option now let me check see it's uninstalled right see see it's uninstalled right is it in cool right so after this what i have to do i can just read it right i can just render it down for density shot so this is a one technique which i want to show you by calculating but as i said to everyone uh, this is not a appropriate lens grid for this shot okay in production houses they're taking the actual lens grid for the shot shooted shot okay so i'm just explaining the workflow right so this is a workflow and another thing uh try to uh First of all, try to do lens shot. Then you guys can do deep noise. But it doesn't matter so much because in production, it's, uh, it's a different kind of thing. It's happening. So that's not a mandate, I think. So, okay. So this is a lens shot thing which I want to show you. And you guys can play with this setting also, as I tell you everyone. And if you guys don't want to this lens grid option also, then also you what you guys can you do? Just taking a lens shot node and just do it manually. Like if we, if you want to just taking the lines just draw some straight line right this see done right so by this way also you guys can do and just it is manually line okay so you guys can put uh, many more lines also so just select this and also you have to do more lines right if i go to this and just draw some straight line now just after putting the line here what i have to do take this solve right this solve just hit this button and now see it is undistorted but 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 it not totally give my fine with the right it again some different kind of thing right so it's a different kind of thing it's getting so it's not appropriate either right there's a thing i want to do because sometime line sometime works but most of the time we have to if if i have this grid option then it's 
more better because you have to put proper line and this is not a straight line at all right this is not so straight line good for line analyzing right that time you have to use this grid option so i hope it is very perfect because already i have done right in previous case i have using this grid and i just understood this footage and it's getting my good result so that's the thing you have to do so try to take here lens shot and if you have grid of the shot if you have the lens grid of the shot then just use this grid and just try to detect it and put the i mean calculate the distortion right it's a very good thing to practice so if you guys like this video if you guys like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and please share this video with others and thank you and before ending this video as i said everyone jai sri ram jai mirbaba vajjumari